everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Evil Elsie Plays Minecraft. So, today, what the plan is, is we're going to work on the roof for this building. You notice it's really a lot taller now. I realize I like, went to put the roof on once, went to make a cut, realized it was not tall enough. So, I went back and basically built the roof up higher. So, we're going to put in a slanted roof that's going to kind of mimic the one that's going on here. And in its mimicking, I think I want to mimic how the stone is inset here. So I want to put a stone inset into my roof for my eaves area. So I want to put some stone inset into there. And I totally just about walked off the edge of that. Actually, I don't think I can, but whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you can hear the gas. He's flying around causing trouble being a gas general. Ow. Come on. Go up this ladder. You go up this ladder. I've done it before. And then I fell right off the ladder. Of course. Yay, ladders today. I was doing really well with the ladder earlier. No problems whatsoever. Is that now? Okay, we'll shift and go up the ladder then. We'll shift to go up the ladder. That always works better. There we go. And then I won't fall off the top. Okay, so... What we're going to do is we're going to assume that our first layer is going to go on the outside edge of the... Actually, no. We're going to put our first layer on here. And then we're going to put our first layer where you can see the stone up on the next level. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the stone in. Move this out of the way. I'm going to this axe. So we're going to use smooth stone like we did on the other part. I'm going to put an inset layer of stone here. It's going to be inset. So the roof's going to be level with the outside of the building, but this layer is going to be inset. And that's actually going to work out just fine because it's going to come up right behind our portal. I didn't even measure for that, but that'll work out. Okay, so we're going to do an inset layer for each layer. Kind of like we did on the front. This will also help hide some of the back of the portal. It's been like, eh, it's kind of iffy looking there. Okay, so... Right. Yep. And then when we do a wrap stair like we did on the on the portal itself. It'll look really nice. It's actually, oh, we need to watch out for the gas. The gas keeps trying to shoot at me while I'm up here working every once in a while. No idea where he's at right now, but he's probably around trying to kill me. No one's gas. So notice how we're higher here than we are here. That means we're tall enough. Also, this is nice off-center because apparently this room is not evenly spaced. Oh, that's adorable. I'll live with it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know it's not evenly spaced. Okay, so. Right, what a gap of one on this side? What a gap of one on the other side? Ooh, gap of none? Yeah, I have a no gap on that side and a gap of one on this side. So this wall actually needs to go out one more. But it's okay. We're going to live with it not being there. It's all right. So we've got that started, and you kind of get this nice stone insert, which looks kind of nice. I'll fix this wall one of these days and push it out one more. Let's go back up here. Just totally went down there and had no reason to. I should have gone on the other side and put the other side in. Oh well. You to watch me climb the ladder again. Which I'm terrible at. And probably put more ladder pieces. Oh no, we don't need to put more ladder pieces in because this is, that's right, there's a lip here. Okay, so that'll make it really easy. So we'll put the other one in. Just to hold it in place. I should break those out. And I need to take these ones out. So originally I was going to do it all out of nether brick. I mean the whole building out of nether brick. But I think the stone's going to help break up some of the darkness of the nether brick. And make it a little bit easier to see. And a little bit easier to just kind of look nice. With. Plus the roof's going to be nether brick anyway. So it's going to be really, really dark. The building as a whole is going to be really dark. So at least some lightness is going to help some. Yeah, I hear you gas. I hear you. That's okay. Uh, oh, ignore the frame rate. It's going to be a little bit low for these videos. There's some problem with Microsoft and my video card. Or no, with Minecraft and my video card. This is Microsoft's now, so. Minecraft and my video card. 
It's all right, though. Okay. Get this. This. Okay. So we're all put in properly. I really should widen it one. It really looks weird. Of course, now they're moving heavy machinery. So earlier they were mowing, and now they're moving heavy machinery. Okay, well, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna widen this by one. Whole box by one. And when we come back, I should be ready to start putting stairs on this thing. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, we've got all the forms up, all nice and fixed. This wall's all pushed out one. Put the little strip of grass down there, fix my door outside. So now we're down to putting on the stairs and this is probably gonna be the trickiest part. And I know I'm gonna need to make more stairs. I know that already. So the easiest place to place them is going to be, let me shift to do this. Let's back up as much as we possibly can. I think I can place one. Nope, back up a little more, there we go. So the easiest place to place them is gonna be here and then we're gonna be able to walk on top of them. She is going though. Can I place one there? You should be able to place one there. Come on. Okay, nope. Okay, up here on this stair. Back up as much as we possibly can. Why can't I place a block there? Nope, I don't want to place it on this stair. I want to place it on that stair. Stairs are a little wonky in 1.8. That's uh, not the kind of stair I want. Let me put something in here to kind of ledger it too. There we go. That'll help. I'll need to do that for the first row, I think, because in the rest of them, you'll just pl you just place as you're down below them. So it's always hard to get the first stair started, but once we get the first set of stairs started, the rest of them should fall into place. Pretty good. I'm gonna keep shifting though. Okay, I don't wanna fall. <laughs> There's a gas, I hear it. It's gonna be the, probably the most dangerous part is doing the stairs on this thing. And we'll go across the top and half slab. That way it will be mob proof. So the mobs should spawn on the box, which is good. <laughs> Okay, so I don't want mobs to spawn on the box. Okay, so let's go up here. Can't I climb on this end of the stair? We did it just a minute ago. Okay, we'll do it that way. There we go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm too much too much that direction. Down to the stair. Okay, so this way. Come down off the stairs. There we go. Got it, we're making good progress with this. That's okay. As long as we don't come down off the stairs, it doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. Okay then. Okay. Because it won't let us fall off the stairs, that's the good news. Can't quite fall off the stairs. Here we go. This is like the most nerve wracking thing, standing over lava, putting in stairs. Okay, and the rest of the run should be really easy. Let's see if we get this whole thing done. Oh, this roof done. I keep shifting though, because I do not want to fall off this darn roof. Though it's pretty much so I don't like run. <laughs> I'm gonna fall off the roof. Let's see. Roof. Um, I'm probably gonna cut here and come back when I have the roof done. It should be soon because there's not, I mean, there's nothing more to it than just laying stairs. So, see you guys in a little bit. Welcome back. So we've got the roof done. It's all nice and filled in. I'll go look at it from the front just a second. Got my door over here. Maybe we'll look at it from the front. The front's hard to get to. Okay, 
So, so you get the nice outline of it. I haven't gone and put the second row of stairs in there, and I may not do that. Depends on how I feel like it, because most likely it's going to be very rarely seen from the outside. But I did want to put that detailing in. So I've got a little bit of detailing to do inside here, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sort of nice and prime is helping us right now. I think I'm going to put some sort of... He's putting lighting up for me. I think I'm going to put, like, a wooden beam across here underneath this and some, like, wooden posts coming down to support this this whole stone thing so it doesn't look like it's just floating midair. It looks kind of strange there. And I have some spruce wood. That's what I have. So let's see how the spruce wood looks with this. I don't know yet. Actually, doesn't look half bad. I kind of think I want a lighter wood, though. I think I want to go with at least like oak wood or possibly even some birch wood in here. Planks. I'm gonna do planks and not um logs. So I, think I might do either oak or birch wood, just to kind of give it some wood, warm it up. Here, but we'll kind of show what it's gonna look like with the spruce here it up here on this and we can't do this completely with the back because the back's pretty enclosed but the front can definitely have this actually no we can do it with the back too there's that section in the back that's kind of open this is not the right tool mm -hmm. that is the right tool to put those extra planks away i'll use them for something else later okay so we kind of get I might make it a little thicker, especially up there towards the top, just so it gives it some substance there so it looks like it's being held up. Maybe I'll do a series of columns, like one here. What's the space between that? Two. Two. What does that leave us here? Oh, that might actually look nice because then I'll have the opening for the um, tunnel here. So I'll open the tunnel up on this side, which I think is what it looks like on the down further. So what would happen is this would open up and this would be the whole tunnel width. So it'd be a three-way tunnel instead of a one-way tunnel. Put a little bit of stone up there right now. So you can kind of get the idea. I'll put it outside a little bit. So you can kind of get the idea of how this would look in the end. Hello, Pigman. Um, I need to place a block, and you're kind of in the way, Mr. Pigman. Okay, well, that'll work. So this kind of gives you an idea of what it would look like if we widen the tunnel in this direction. So you have a three-way tunnel here coming into this. That helps me actually use the pickaxe. So it should break out properly. There we go. And then we'd have the wooden posts on either side, which would kind of break up the darkness of the nether rack. So it wouldn't be all just dark nether rack in here. We'd actually kind of have like it like this is the outer shell and then these are the inner beams and stuff. So I think that's about it for today. You can kind of get an idea of where we're going with this. We'll finish up the interior later, but we got the exterior on and it's now gas proof. So the gas can't shoot at me. Um, another, another brick is most definitely gas proof. I got, did get shot at while I was making this. I may have died once, <laughs> but all's good. So it'll work. But let's go look at the zombie spawner. I think it's mostly done. See when we get there. So we'll go run, 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 run. Um, oh, it's Friday and it's Black Friday. So I didn't get my video out on time yesterday, but I did release one early this morning, which is the one for yesterday. So if you guys haven't seen it, there's a new episode of Random Game Thursdays. I'm playing a game called um, Mystery. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I know the name of the game. And it's like one of my favorite games. Battle Block Theater. That's what the name of it is. Battle Block Theater. So I'm playing Battle Block Theater this week for the random game Thursday. It's lots of fun platformer. If you guys really like it, leave a watch the video, leave a thumbs up on that video and maybe I'll play some more of it. Speaking of games we're gonna play some more of from random game Thursday, uh, what is it? 
Oh, yes. Um, I want to end up playing or starting a series on Dragon Age Inquisition. It's going to go on Saturday in place of Civilization because not very many people are watching Civilization. And I can understand because it gets a little boring. Because it's all turn-based and there's a lot of terms where I don't do anything. So, I can understand it get boring. Come on, world load. But for now, it's kind of, so for now, I'm going to, I'm going to put that series, I'm going to end that series and we're going to start playing Dragon Age Inquisition because I had a lot of views on my last Dragon Age Inquisition video. So, if you guys seem to like it. I have no idea totally what's going to get. I watched a little bit of some people playing through who also had no idea what's going on. So, I don't know. We'll see how things go. Okay. And here we are at the zombie spawner. So, we fixed the problem down below. What it was was there was a water block missing. And since then, we put in some chests here with equipment and stuff to go into. Yep. And... Oh, the, and so see, we got lots of zombies now. Let me see if there's any stone swords. Are there stone swords over here? Top box. Thank you. Okay, so we'll pick up some stones, a couple stone swords, and we'll kill with some zombies. You can see it works really well. It works really well because we're standing right next to the zombie spider. It'd work a little bit better if there was um, torches up above, making it so they can't spawn on the surface during the day, but it works perfectly, or during, at nighttime, but it works perfectly fine during the day. Because there's no mobs spawning up above because of the water. Also, notice how the mobs are kind of stuck down there at the corner. That's what this handy dandy button here is for. So you click the button and it shoves them up. Oh, so they get unstuck on the corner. Because sometimes they get stuck on that corner there in the water. Because it, it makes a turn so it would come out right next to the zombie spawner. Because the elevator's back there and I wanted it to come out next to where these stairs are. We may need to re-engineer these stairs, but... It's okay. <laughs> They're fine. So yeah, works pretty well. Uh, so you can stand here AFK, wait for zombies to build up. You hit the button down here and it'll... There might actually be some down there. Oh yeah, kind of gets them to come around the corner. There they come. Assist them in coming around the corner. And I think the only thing... Actually, Luke, is Luke coming out of here okay? Check the boxes. There's a reason I brought Oh, is it, is it, um, hoppering into the boxes? It is not hoppering into the boxes, but there's a lot of it. Oh, but there's a lot of it. So it is working pretty well. Yeah, because I gotta stack this on my flesh now. It's bad. Okay, so it's working pretty well. Press the button. It just moves a... Ooh. Um, and you also notice there aren't any baby zombies coming up. That's because they get trapped at the bottom. So it's kind of a baby zombie proof system. Because they can't make the first jump, so they all just kind of stay at the bottom. I don't know if it clogs the system or not if you get too many in there. We'll have to test that in the future. So, but I think that's going to be this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll probably finish up the interior of the nether building thing, hub. I don't know what it's going to be called. It needs a name. It needs a cool name, but that's okay. So we'll finish up the interior of our building and then we may also start on the castle. I haven't done any work on that in a while, so it might be nice to do some of that. So I will see you guys on Monday. Hope you had a good time. Watch the video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you want to support my channel, please leave it or please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.